Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, we are going to customize the heck out of your WordPress sidebars. Jackson here, welcome to the channel. This is where I share my tips, tricks, and tutorials all about WordPress. And if that is your type of thing, then please do consider subscribing if you're new here. And check out the description below. It's got all the show notes and descriptions and links and other bits and pieces of all the stuff that's in today's show. Plus, there's a link there to download a list of my top 10 favorite WordPress plugins of all time. Okay, on with the show. Sidebars, the things that you put widgets in on your WordPress website. Now, most themes have at least one, uh, but it's likely there, there could be a few. If you have got only one, or maybe you wanna put different sidebars on different pages, then there is a really cool way of doing this with a particularly splendid plugin called Custom Sidebars by the guys at WPMU Dev. It's pretty industry standard and I don't really recall using a different one in recent years. So in this WordPress tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use custom sidebars and put different sidebars on different pages of your WordPress website. All right, let's customize some of those sidebars. Um, okay, so here's uh, 2015 and we've got a kind of standard sidebar on the left-hand side here, but the sidebar widgets that are contained within this are all the same across the entire site. You know, the about page, the blog page, the contact page, it's all the same stuff. Let's change that. We're gonna go to plugins, add new, and grab the name of the plugin that we need, which is by the guys at WPMU Dev. And we'll paste that into our keyword search. And it should very much be the first one that comes up. We're gonna click install now. And once it's installed, we'll click the activate button and we should be good to go. So there's not much to see once the plugin's installed, uh, but if you go to the appearance and widgets section, you'll see that there's a little difference. We have got the theme sidebars. Now, if you had more than one sidebar, Bar, they'd all be listed here but the 2015 theme only has the one and we've got a button to create a new sidebar so let's create a new sidebar for our website we click create add new sidebar we're going to call that about page this is going to be our custom sidebar for our about page let's just drop in the calendar and we'll pretend it's like event events dates just for demo purposes, save that. So let's just get our about page up. We can see that it's currently got the regular sidebar there. And what we wanna do is now go to our pages. I'm gonna show all pages in a new tab and go to our about page. And once you get there, you will see a new meta box on the right hand side called sidebars. And you can simply choose which sidebar you want for this page. It really is as simple as that. You click update, let's have a look at our about page now let's refresh that about page and look we have a completely different sidebar in place let's go make some more we're going to go to our widgets tab and go create a new sidebar and we're going to make this the home page create sidebar there's our home page now what i was thinking was if we go back to our home page i reckon we should make this blank so it's a bit of a kind of introductory not too much clutter when you hit the home page so if we go back to our admin and go to our pages tab that we've got open, go back to pages and go to the home page, you will see a slightly different looking sidebar meta box. Now this is why I'm showing you this because it kind of caught me out a little while back when I first started using this plugin is that because the home page is set as our front page, we've actually got to tell the new sidebar that that's the case rather than just choose it from a drop down here. Although to be honest, I'm still unsure why we can't just have the option to choose it. But anyway, let's go back to the widgets tab that we've got open and we're gonna use this link here, sidebar location. Now what you need to do then is go to the second section, we'll just close that first section up and we'll open that up. And we need to choose the option as the archive type. If you tick that box, you'll get another box open. And if you click into it, you'll get these options of the archive type pages that you can select this sidebar for. I, I still think it's a little bit clunky when you just wanna deal with pages, but anyway. So if you choose front page and we'll save those changes and we'll go back to the front end now and refresh that. 
there we go we've got our nice clean home page without any sidebar at all so let's go add one more we're going to create a new sidebar and we're going to call it for the contact page create that sidebar and we'll throw in some rich text editing with the black studio mce plugin and we'll just throw in a image just like that turn it some sort of call to action Let's make that at H2, save that. Let's go back to our Pages tab and go find that Contact page. And we'll just choose Contact Us from the drop down on our sidebars, meta box, back to our front end and go to our Contacts. And there we go. Really is pretty simple. Apart from that kind of home page, front page thing, it really does work every single time. Yeah, it's a pretty go-to standard install for me, the custom sidebars plugin. But do let me know what you think about custom sidebars in WordPress. Definitely stick your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like what you have seen here, then I do encourage you most sincerely to subscribe. But until next time, I shall see you later.